Hey guys, Britta here. Welcome back to Construction Simulator. Here we are for episode number two. We're continuing on from last episode where we picked up these motel signs after we rolled the uh, gravel lid down here. So let's jump in the cab. I have changed a few of the buttons now. So actually press one on the numpad for left blinker, three on the numpad for right, two for flashes, and zero for our flashing beacons. So that's helped us, helped me get that done. Um, makes it a bit easier for me to do things on the fly, which is good. So you can actually change the controls as needed. Alright, now we need to look at this crane. Should be similar to the last crane we used, I think. Yeah, it should be pretty similar, I think. Alright, then we'll extend it out. I did actually turn off, um, there was an option in there to turn off the crane, the speed, speed gain on the crane. I didn't think, oh, that's wrong button. I didn't think that was um, something that I wanted to leave on. Um, I felt like it was taking off with the crane too quick. So, but if I turn that off, it'll allow us to have a bit more control over the crane, which seems like we are at the moment. You can sort of hear the truck as well. The revs change. Well, whoop, 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 number. Hear the revs change while we're using this. It's still going to take me a while to get used to these buttons, I think. Still haven't found my um, Xbox control, so I'll have to have a bit of a look. We're currently in the process of moving house, so hopefully I can find where I've packed it. Packed away somewhere. Right, let's get this T in the place. Still seems a little quick to crane, but probably just me not being. Oops. Probably just me not being that confident with the crane at the moment. Still trying to get my head around the buttons. A little bit different to the last crane we used, so left arrow is to bring the boom in. Up and down is to bring the longer arm up and down. Then A and W is to bring the main arm up and down. Oh, sorry, W and S is to bring the main arm up and down. There's no extension, or there's no wire that we can raise and lower like our previous crane, where the hook's just attached to the end of the boom here, so. I think that's where I'm sort of struggling a little bit, but this shouldn't take us too long. There we go. And we probably could have done this to finish off our last episode, but I want to try and keep our episodes at a decent length and not overdo it for you guys. I think 30, 35 minutes is a pretty good length of time. Alright, boom. Alright, so now we can either put this away manually or we can just go reset, drive, and then we're good to go. Got to clear the construction site. So I'll just drive out this site here. I did also change it to miles per hour, which. Oh, might have been able to run that over. Um, change it to miles per hour, which doesn't matter too much. But because obviously we are in America, we should be driving in miles, not kilometres. Right, let's go and speak with Hape. Oh, that camera's all over the shop. Right, speak with Hape, see what he's got to say today. Old Joe won't believe his eyes. The entryway looks better than when this place opened 30 years ago. You did an excellent job. Thanks, Hape. Even the recycled neon signs are working perfectly. You can finally see the motel from the highway. I'm sure it will start attracting tourists again. Do you have another minute you can spare? 
Then course, let's meet at the old gas do. station in town. Someone else there needs our help. Okay. So the old gas station. Boom. This looks a little bit weird out the front here. Job at bottomless pit accepted. Jump back in our truck. Map, where are we going? Left. But it's setting us right. So that's one thing I have noticed as well. Um, is with the map and the guide system. It does send you all over the place sometime. So just always look at your map before you take off. Make sure you're heading the right way. So I'll turn, I'll turn the traffic down. I've left the pedestrian density the same because that doesn't matter too much. But I've also turned traffic infringements off. So at the moment we're not getting fined for anything. I don't think they still want to lift. Maybe tomorrow. Um, yeah, turn the traffic infringements off. That way, when we are out of this, this initial um, phase, we're doing sort of the initial story, we won't be getting fined once we're running our own business. So, I'm going to need to set up this truck, I believe. to be able to lift this tank into the ground. Lift the old tank out, the new tank in. Right. There we go. Looks like we're going to have to lift this one out, put this new one in, and then load some sand back on top, or some soil. Um, speak with hate. Let's get this changed first. Let's go and speak with Hape. See what he's got to say. This gas station owned by Pete and his wife Helena has been losing money for some time. But now that more tourists are stopping here off the highway, they want us to build a new tank. The old tank is already waiting for you to lift it out of its pit. I also got a backhoe loader for you so you can refill the pit when the new tank is installed. Then put some concrete on top and you're done. Piece of cake, right? Right. Although I don't think this is really a fuel tank. It looks kind of plastic to me. Although, I don't know. This day and age, maybe they are starting to use more plastic. Um, like fiberglass sort of hard plastic tanks compared to what they used to. Right, so let's get this other one picked up and put on the truck. So that looks the same, but it looks rusted. So potentially... And again, probably just dirt. Right, let's try not to smash this through the top of the cab. Take our time. Right, we'll rotate it. Drop it down. Boom, there we go. Swing around and get this new one. Should be a reasonably quick job, this one. All over the place with the controls again. Get that up. It's a backhoe load up. Let's reset this. Change it back to drive mode. And get out of the way. Right into the backhoe. Hape's standing here watching the whole thing. Just not good, just in case we stuff up. Now, how do we use this thing? Forward, down. Yeah, okay, so we're using the arrow keys. Perfect. We'll bucket. Let's get out. Watch the beacon on. 
quite touchy, this accelerator and stuff, so take our time moving forward. Oh, we sort of lead to like 39%. That's not, no way that's 39%. Oh. Trying to use two different buttons in one go makes it a little bit harder. Try and It's a full bucket. Not quite, but I think we can unlock skills, which means we can get, you know, fill the buckets up even more. But no, it's not going to matter too much. A couple more buckets, and this job will be done anyway. So. It's full as a bucket we can get actually. Looking at that. Yeah, it's very, very touchy using the keyboard to try and roll forward without smashing into the barriers. So I lower it down as far as I can, and then all, what I do is I tilt the bucket forward until it just touches the ground go through, get a full scoop. It's pretty cool the way that um, the soil works though, and the dirt works with the front loader and... Oh. Just touching the button and the thing wants to take off like crazy. There we go. Should be done. So this magically fills itself. Alright, deliver the cat to the dealer. Alright. Back up out of here. I'll put my hazards on as well. Oh. Lift our bucket up a little bit. So it's not hitting the ground. Put our hazards on. Don't know about driving these things on the main road. But we'll see. Alright, so we need to turn right into here. Swing around to the left. Nice park there, actually. You'll see there's probably a lot of spaces. There's a hammer there. Well, actually, I know I said I wouldn't grab hammers, but if we accidentally stumble across across one, I'll grab it. You jump up on there. But we could. Come on, get up there. There we go. I know I'm overweight, but not that overweight. Um, yeah, if we stumble across them, we'll pick them up. Deliver this back to here. Uh, now take the seat in the concrete mixer. I've got it ready for you. We need concrete from the gravel pit. Okay. Let's lower our bucket down. Jump out. Jump in a concrete truck. Now this is something that I've driven before. I drove concrete trucks for probably nearly four years. So I do know how they work. Um, and a truck of this size, I would say, yeah, this size is even bigger with the dual steers on the front, so an eight-wheeler. Never got into a ten-wheeler, but definitely driven one of these eight-wheelers before. Right, swing around to the left. As I said, we're not going to worry about road rules and that sort of stuff at the moment. Very careful down this hill though, because it does get very tight. So, the next question is when we start buying our own gear, do we buy Mack trucks? Do we buy Cat trucks? Do we buy Scanners? What do you guys think we should, we should be buying? I'm thinking whatever matches the area, so no Scanners and that sort of stuff, unless we really, really have to, because it's not. This is an American map, American area. You don't see many Scanners and stuff in this area. 
mean, if it was Australia, we do. We do. We see Scania's, the Zuzus. We see Kenworths, Max, Cats, everything. Pretty sure in America, I don't think there'll be many Scania's over there. Alright, so straight down the hill towards our left, I think that's the gravel gravel plant. As I said, we already went past it. Over here, gravel plant, Sandman Inc. So, find the concrete solo, then the filling process can be started. Right, so, swing around to the left. Underneath here. So, get right underneath and come to a complete stop. So, it usually spits stuff out from here into the back of the barrel of the truck while the barrel is spinning. The barrel is spinning. So it'll, it'll send out, I think we used to load water first, and then the stone, like 10 mil, 20 mil rock, uh, sand, and the man sand, which is like a gravel sand mix. And then, obviously, it doesn't come straight out, it's concrete, once it's in here mixing with all that, plus the, the um, concrete powder and ash powder. And the ash, it turns it into concrete, so it doesn't come out automatically as concrete. To give it time to mix. Right, let's head back to the old petrol station. Now these trucks are very interesting to drive when they're full of concrete. Then you've got a sharp bend like this, you've got the barrel spinning, it's full of concrete. So you've got a live load coming around a corner like that, you've got to take it real steady. Because as the concrete's turning, you know, the whole truck. It's a live load, the whole truck wants to spit with it. So you've got to be very, very careful driving these sorts of things. Right, so up the hill, round to the right, round to the left, and then we'll be back. With Pete, Pete and Helena's petrol station. Hopefully we get some tourists in town and just continue to help. Pete and Helena have a successful, a successful gas station. So just here on our left. Start to slow down a little bit. Alright, just up close to the formwork. Left and right does that. We want to put the chute on. I want to be able to see where I'm going. Reverse back into here. And we'll start to, to pour. Ooh, not too far. I just want to creep back ever so slowly, but it, you don't really get the option to do it slow. Stop. Okay. Damn. Alright, pouring on and off. So now we can sort of, you know, swing it this way, swing it that way. All done. Didn't take much at all. But let's look into the truck. Shoot on. Pull it forward. So we've got heaps of excess concrete in this truck. Clearly. We've, um, Got a ton. Let's not walk over the fresh concrete. I'll talk to Hape again. Pete and Helena bought this property back when the town was flourishing. Most businesses here are family owned, like this one. It'd be a shame if they had to shut their doors because they're no longer profitable. Of course, things look pretty bleak if no visitors are coming to town. But you know what? Joe and I had a great idea that may sound a little crazy, but we have to give it a shot. Take the broken tank to Joe's motel. Then I'll fill you in over there. See you soon. Right, hope. A bit bossy. Again, he's our boss, isn't he? Alright. Bit of extra money. Don't really know much we earn out of that. 
out of gas. Typical. You've been standing there all day and you couldn't refuel the bloody thing. Ah, oh, bloody hell, hate. Right, it's here to refuel. Turn about the lights off. Let's repair it while we're here. Alright, let's get going. Back to the motel. Alright. To the left. I wonder if these hitchhikers are still here. Okay, just checking to make sure that the blinkers don't automatically turn off when we go around a corner, so. So over to the left here. Yeah, there might be some new houses wanting to go around the, around the back down there. And in here, hitchhikers. Yep, they're still hitchhiking. Someone will get you sometime today. Oop, excuse me, coming through. I'm driving a race truck today. Mounting the curbs and everything. Right, sneaking around the back here. Park behind the motel. Get out of the truck, let's speak with hate. Actually, yeah, see I don't like having to hold the mouse to move the camera. Obviously a reason why, but I don't know. Ah, perfect timing. Absolutely. The preparations are underway. I'm sure you're wondering what exactly we're up to. Just a little. Well, it's like this. We need something spectacular to keep this town from going completely under. So we'll work some magic here and special effects there. And presto, we'll have swarms of tourists coming for a peek with their cameras. On the outskirts, there's a place Sounds that we already shady. set up for our plan. We just need your help to put the final piece in place. We should be finished by morning. Sounds very shady. It's a hammer. Alright. Room real stage complete. Enter the flat bank truck. Let's grab this while we're here. Or not. Here we go. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, that looks very, very shady. Alright, we need... Actually, I don't know if I turn the headlights. Change the button for headlights. Mirrors don't really work, but that could be me. I don't know if I've got the graphics turned all the way up yet. Right, so... Are we going up the hill or down the hill? We look at the map again. Are we going left? Thank you. Setting us up the hill, down the hill. Yep. Is it one of those things? Fire department to the right, hammer supplies, building supplies. So we did our first job down there for the water pipe. So eventually we'll get into building houses like this, we'll get into doing re asphalting roads, doing car parks, um, doing just quick crane jobs and you know, little work for people at their houses and putting in new pipes stuff like that so there's a lot that we can do and then there's another this is the, the initial story mode but there's more of a campaign slash career side too where there's four other local local whether they're local government members or something like that trying to build up certain parts of the town um, we can work for them as well you know building maybe like new schools and new docks or something like that Heaps of different stuff. Right, drive to the crash site. Don't think it's much of a crash site. I think it's a pretend crash site. So we've lost our speedo and stuff on this truck. It was definitely there before. Right, so we're not far away. Hopefully they're going to pay us big for this. Let's give us up to a hundred grand. All 
Alright, some crash sites just here on the right somewhere. Boom. Um, park the construction. Oh, it looks like they've already dug a hole to put this thing in. Oh, the dodgy blokes. Room mill stage complete. Let's grab this hammer while we're here. Into the backhoe loader. Excavate. Oh, they haven't excavated it yet. That's our job. All right, let's go. Headlights. Um, work lights. Is. Why are you not letting me tilt the bucket? But there we go. Right, let's take this trench out. Alright. We're losing bits and pieces everywhere. It's not going to be half obvious though with this. I think, let's try and hide it over the back there somewhere. Half obvious having fresh dirt dug out, dumped behind where this thing's supposedly loaded, or landed I should say. Come on. Put in there with another full bucket. This from well, oh, those headlights are strange. Headlights do not look good from the in cab view. It's all 66%. Is it? Yeah, it's a V. If we hold V shows us where we need to, where we've dug enough, where we need to dig some more. hard to control the keyboard so I suggest if you go and have an Xbox control or something Steam control or whatever it may be that you guys use that I'm not sure if um, they have allowed like steering wheels like wheel support but 100% sure so it would have to why don't you guys like to give it a try and see what happens? I don't have a steering wheel at all, but you could if you could use, you know, like your farm sim side panel and that sort of stuff. That would be pretty cool. That is very noisy. Damn. Right, let's turn all lights off. Jump out. I was huffing and puffing for some reason. Right, let's change our mode. Change the camera view, of course. Right, let's lift this thing up. Can't quite see. This is not shady at all, is it? This random UFO just lands in this perfectly excavated hole. Right. 
throw that in there. Oop. Perfect. Let's reset you. Shut that down. Hopefully someone's going to come and get this thing. Hopefully Hope will get one of his colleagues to come and get the little backhoe. You don't want to leave it here because that'll be quite obvious. God, I hope he's paying me a lot. It's bloody 2am. Been going all day. All day, Hope. We've been going all bloody day. So this thing seems quite slow, but no, it's mile an hour, not kilometres now. It's quite from the inside. Cab, what the truck? Dodge them cars. It actually seems quiet from here too now. The truck seems to have lost a bit of sound. They need to be reset. I'm not sure what that is to our right. That's part of the dam or something. Swing hard left, try not to dodge them cars off the guardrail again. The road here to our left, going to another business up there. Not sure what's up there. Blows through the stop sign, of course. We'll head down to see Hape just down here. His construction company, which I think will eventually take over. Hope's ready to retire. So we can even get this thing off the off the road. Turn all the lights off. Alright. Now, a bit dodgy hype, but we'll see what happens here. At last! There you are. Now all we have to do is keep our mouths shut and see what happens. <laughs> dodgy, but dodgy, one dodgy, dodgy. As certain as the sun rising in the morning. The people in this town love rumors and headlines. Soon, everyone will be talking about the glowing object from another world. I'm sure of that. And all thanks to your help. Good job. Listen, to be honest, I'm pretty satisfied with what I've done with my life. My career has been rock solid, but I also think it's high time that I retire. My business is small, but in good shape, and it needs someone to pick up the reins. And I honestly can't think of anyone better for this job than you. So, what do you say? I'd stick around for a while to help until you're on your feet. Absolutely, Deal? hey. We can do it. Deal. Shake, shake his hand. For our company. Congratulations on running your very own company. If you want it to succeed, you should stop by regularly and familiarize yourself with everything. I recommend you first take a close look at the upgrade levels and start meeting the goals listed there. It's the only way to qualify for the big jobs in town, so you can someday leave this place behind. You should also take a look at the vehicle fleet and the finances to see what it takes to manage your construction equipment and get an overview of your financial situation. But the most important thing is fulfilling the orders. It's the only way you can make money to keep expanding your business and afford new construction equipment. So get to it. Running a company isn't an easy job, but the best way to start is by getting started. The rest will work itself out. Trust me, and I'm still here for you. Right, thanks, Hype. That should be Britain Constructions. Construction. Yeah. Own little area here. We've got. So I wonder if we can pick up that gravel on the back corner there. Uh, advanced. Advanced. Player level. Right now. Ooh, is that my car? Um, I'll start attracting tourists, yes. Uh, expansion menu now. Yes, why not? Well, right, upgrade levels. Upgrade levels S, M, and L represent the size of the progress of your company. Each level brings you improvements that can unlock once you've earned them. Card on your left is your level cards. We're a small company. Card on your right. 
Uh, the cards on the right show you in detail what is needed to complete the goal. Once a task is completed, you can unlock the reward here in the menu for a certain price. Yes, okay. Backspace. So we've got two or three construction machines. Purchase our next company. Complete the contract. Under construction helper, once you've activated... Once you've... Uh, you get active support on the construction site. The construction helper does some tasks on the construction site for you in no time at all. Helper in the context menu under helper. Okay. Reach level S. Loan. Get a loan. Arcing. We've got 10 construction materials. Or spots, I should say. Our own workshop. Okay. So, jobs. Here we can find jobs. So, the campaign. We need to finish that. Then we can unlock the maritime, urban space, innovative technologies and waterways. And then the fun fair finale. Company, so our upgrade levels, which is our company upgrades, our vehicle fleets, uh, which is here. So we can actually go store. We're actually in that, so we can't store that. Uh, warehouse shows us goods that we own, but have not stored in your company. This means all the goods that can be found anywhere in the world by storing goods in the world section. You can recover goods that no longer you can no longer find. Okay. Warehouse, store leftover or duplicate building materials. That's good. Goods issue. The goods issue, you can deliver building materials to the loading zone of your company premises. Have them automatically loaded onto the loading zone of your construction machine. Yeah, so we can deliver to the yard, deliver to construction site, which is good. Finances obviously shows us our overview. Seven day return. Seven day review, I should say. Vehicle cost, material cost, loans. Money transfer. Ah, so we can transfer to... To us? wonder what that does. Interesting. Maybe for multiplayer, I guess. Um, our current milestones. So we need to... Uh, fast travel 20 times. We need to rent. Machine for 72 hours. Uh, clear the bill. Yeah, so 200 pallets of goods. Profile. So the manual, which shows us what we can do. Ape, investor. Uh, where is it? There's nothing in there. As far as... Uh, jobs... Employees, there we go. Over the context menu, F in the construction machine and select the worker thing to assist and take care of this task for you. Um, offers you practical support at any time, such as buying and selling bulk goods or refilling and repairing your machines. So I wonder if I can... Um, how do I get to that menu now? I don't know. Jobs, company, profile. Um, so I wonder if I can get them to deliver sand and stuff. Sell sand. So skills, we've got one point so we can get bucket capacity, bulk material capacity, asphalt, crane, concrete, fitness, fuel, where good business sense, which we will do that. So during the negotiation process, uh, we can press contractors and we get bonus 10%, I think, on um, the cost, current progress, which is obviously campaigns, contracts, locations, wealth, collectibles, machines, Company extensions, milestones, multiplayer, all that sort of stuff, and our stats as to what we've done. Alright, UFO has landed. We need to complete three side contracts. wonder what side contracts they are. Let's just park this thing here for now. Um, jobs, contracts, oh yeah, so we can do any of these three. So land development, village. Um, yeah, okay. That's to get a house done, maybe. Yeah, guys, we'll end the episode here. Look at one of those jobs for next episode. 
we'll see how we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the game so far. Any ideas and suggestions. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. Being Bruno, thanks for watching. See you again soon.